we use the cosine rule to find a missing length or a missing angle in a triangle. We don't use it for right angle triangles because it's easier to use Pythagoras and Sokotoa. So we use it for non right angle triangles as well as the sine rule. So for lengths, we use the formula a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. And we use that when we know two lengths and the angle in between them. So if we know two lengths and the angle in between them, we can find the other length. So if we knew these two lengths and this angle, we could find the other length. So two lengths and the angle in between them, we can find the other length. And we can rearrange this formula. So this formula rearranged gives us our formula that we use to work out an angle. And I'll quickly do that. So if I add 2BC cos A to both sides, so this is like one number. If I add it to both sides of the, of the formula, so add 2BC cos A to both sides, that gives me A squared plus 2BC cos A equals B squared plus C squared. Then I take away, subtract A squared from both sides. So take A squared away from both sides, which just leaves me with 2BC cos A on one side. And I've got B squared plus C squared minus A squared on the other. I then divide both sides by 2BC. And we get cos A equals B squared plus C squared minus A squared over 2BC. So this is the formula for working out an angle. And we can find an angle in a triangle when we know all three of the sides. So when we know all three sides of a triangle, we can work out any of the angles using the cosine rule. So let's have a look how this works. The first question, find the value of x. So we've got two lengths and the angle in between them. So two lengths and the angle in between them. That's what we're looking for with the cosine rule. And we're finding a length. So we're going to use the rule a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. So let's label it. The big A is the angle. So there's only one angle we know. That's big A. And that's opposite little a, which is what we're working out. The other two are called B and C. And it doesn't matter which way round we put them. So we just put B and C. So we can substitute our values into our formula now. So we've got x squared equals 7 squared plus 12 squared minus 2 times 7 times 12 cos 49. So we've substituted our values in. Now we can pick up our calculator and we can actually type this whole side in so 7 squared plus 12 squared minus 2 times 7 times 12 cos 49. So I'm going to type that whole thing in. I use brackets when I substitute numbers into the calculator. It's a good habit to be in because when you have negative numbers, your calculator doesn't make a mistake. So I've typed that whole side in to the calculator and I've got 82.78 and so on. So x squared is equal to 82.78 and so on. I need to find x, not x squared. So I need to square root. So square root my answer. 
and I'll give my answer to two decimal places. So that's going to be 9.10. and it's centimeters to two decimal places. Okay, a question for you to try. So pause the video and give it a go. Okay, so we've got two lengths and the angle in between them. We are finding the other length. So we're gonna use the cosine rule and it's for lengths, so we're going to use a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. And to label it, the angle is big A. What we're working out opposite it is little a. And the other two are b and c. Either way round, it doesn't matter which way you put them. And we'll grab the calculator. No, we won't. We'll substitute in first. So we're going to have x squared equals 9.5 squared plus 15 squared minus 2 times 9.5 times 15 cos 94. So we're going to type the whole of the right side in. So we've got 9.5 squared plus 15 squared minus 2 times 9.5 times 15 cos 94. So we've got 335.13 and so on. So 335.13 dot dot dot. That's x squared. To get x, we need to square root. So I'm going to press square root answer. And that's 18.31 to two decimal places. So x equals 18.31. It's in centimeters and it's to two decimal places. Okay, work out the size of angle ABC. So this time we're working at an angle. Angle ABC is this angle here, A to B to C. So that's our X, the cosine rule. We can use the cosine rule when we know all three lengths and we want to work out an angle. So it is the cosine rule and we are gonna use cos a equals b squared plus c squared minus a squared over 2bc. So it's labeled the triangle. Big A is our angle. That's what we're working out. Opposite big A is little a and the other two are called b and c. It doesn't matter which way around we put b and c. I could have put them the other way around it wouldn't make a difference to the answer. So let's substitute in. So we've got cos x this time, and that's b squared, which is 8.8 .8 squared, plus c squared, 11.4 squared, minus a squared, which is 5.6 squared, over 2bc, so 2 times 8.8 .8 times 11.4. So we're going to type this side into the calculator. So fraction button, 8.8 .8 squared plus 11.4 squared minus 5.6 squared over 2 times 8.8 .8 times 11.4. So that's come out as 0 0.877 and so on. So cos x equals 0 0.877 and so on. How do we get cos away from x? How do we get x by itself? What's the opposite of cos? We need to shift cos. So shift 
cos our answer and we've got 28.67 so x is 28.67 degrees to two decimal places again and one for you to try so pause the video give it a go and press play when you're ready for the answer Okay, angle A, C, B, A to C to B. That's what we're working out. And we're using the cosine rule. We can use the cosine rule because we know all three lengths and we are working out one of the angles. So it's going to be cos A equals B squared plus C squared minus A squared over 2BC. Big A is going to be our angle that we're working out. Opposite big A is little a. And the other two are B and C. And it doesn't matter which way around you put B and C. So substituting him, we're going to have cos X is equal to B squared, which I've got a 7 squared, plus C squared, so 11 squared, minus a squared, which is 13 squared, over 2 times b times c. I'm going to type this into the calculator. So fraction button, I've got 7 squared plus 11 squared minus 13 squared over 2 times 7 times 11. So I've got 1 over 154, or as a decimal, a really tiny number. I'll put 1 over 154. So cos x equals 1 over 154. We need to get x by itself. So we shift cos. Get cos away from x, shift cos the answer. And that has given us... 89.63 so 89.63 degrees to two decimal places and there are two questions here so pause the video have a go at these questions to finish up and then i'll go through the answers after Okay, question one, find the length of BC. So we're finding this length. We know two lengths and the angle between them. So we can use the cosine rule. And the cosine rule says to find a length, we want A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. We're going to have big A as our angle. Opposite it will be little a, which is what we're working out. And the other two, in either way round, are called b and c. So substituting in, we've got x squared equals 5.7 squared plus 8.3 squared minus 2 times 5.7 times 8.3 cos 96. And I'm going to type this all into the calculator. So 5.7 squared plus 8.3 squared minus 2 times 5.7 times 8.3 cos 96. So I've got 111.27. So x squared is 111.27. I need to get x by itself. So I'm going to square root. So square root my answer, which to two decimal places is 10.55. So x 
is 10.55, it's in centimeters to 2 dp. And question two, find the value of x. So we're finding an angle and we know all three lengths. So we can use the cosine rule. I'm going to use the rearranged version, which is cos a is b squared plus c squared minus a squared over 2bc. And we're going to have big A as x, the angle, little a opposite it, and b and c either way around as the other two. So let's substitute in. So we've got, so substituting in, we have cos x equals 2.7 squared plus 4.4 .4 squared minus 3.5 squared over 2 times 2.7 times 4.4. .4. So let's type into the calculator. We've got 2.7 squared plus 4.4 squared minus 3.5 squared over 2 times 2.7 times 4.4. .4. So we've got 20 over 33. I'll just leave it as that. So cos x is 20 over 33. We want to get x by itself. To get cos away from x, we shift cos. So shift cos the answer. Shift cos answer. And we've got 52.69. So 52.69 degrees and to two decimal places. So that's the cosine rule. So we use the cosine rule. A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A to find a length where we know two lengths and the angle in between them. Or we use the rearranged version. Cos A equals B squared plus C squared minus A squared all over 2BC to find an angle when we know all three of the lengths.